Welcome back. Uh, we're going to continue playing 10 minute games on Shogi Wars and see how it is that we perform. And uh, hopefully I can, I don't know, either try out some openings that players have been playing against me, or at least demonstrate my competence in something like Third Foul Rook. Uh, we'll see whether or not I can handle it. Um, recently, players in 81 Dojo and our teaching ladder have been defeating me as they play right hand fourth file rook against me. I'm not sure if this is something I'm prepared to try just yet. Uh, irrespective of whether I get sent to or go to, I'm not super familiar with right hand fourth file rook other than I've suffered much at the hands of it. But perhaps I should try, I don't know, instead of playing my usual fourth file center file stuff, maybe I should switch back to playing third file rook. I mean, yes, it is the only way to learn. It's been, unfortunately, a week, though, since it's been played against me. Good luck. Oh, I go first. Uh, let me turn the volume down a touch. There we go. Um, so, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here. I'm kind of encouraging a bishop exchange, I suppose. Um, yeah, last week we observed, um, myself, okay, I need to think before talking too much. Um, one second. How do I get out of this? Oh, wait. <sighs> well, as much as I've been talking about uh, avoiding fourth foul rook, it seems appropriate here. Um... Give our king the escape that will eventually require. Um, no. Sorry, I interrupted my earlier thought, and I'm still struggling a lot here. Hmm. Come on, Salmon Trout. Yeah, I mean, they're one Q. We kind of have to root for Salmon Trout. Um, we're both 1Qs, so... Eventually one of us should make one down, right? Um... 
Nanafun. Nanafun, you too, buddy. Uh, no, I recognize. He's just keeping time. Uh, oh, fish versus toad. Uh, yeah, that's an interesting dynamic, isn't it? Okay. Um, yeah, I can't read anymore, so we're just gonna play it and see where it goes. Okay, so... We have two bishops. That's one more bishop than we need. <laughs> Fish cannot go on land. Easy victory. Well, we'll see if we can use that same metaphor here somehow to dramatic effect. Um, YOLO. <laughs> All right. Well, this is going to get confusing in just a second. Wait, wait, wait. Not the silver. Not the silver. We don't need to do that. There we go. That's a much lighter attack. All right. Truly. Um. Okay. Go for No, 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 buddy. You're supposed to take the silver. Right? I probably should have moved the silver last turn. Not sure what I am thinking. Um, Hmm. Toad.exe has stopped working. <laughs> oh, good gravy. Something.
2分30秒ニフン。I think I messed up. Ipun San Jubio. There are too many pieces in hand. Salmon Trout has seven minutes to find a checkmate. I'm not sure Salmon Trout has a checkmate. But damn, it looks scary. Oh wait, no, I've got mate. I've got he, she, so they have to checkmate me right now. Um, Got two silvers in hand. This is so difficult to read. Oh, a silver drop is a threat. Gold drops another threat. Bishop takes, king takes. All right. Thanks for the game. Well, that was exciting. Uh, we never got back to whatever my original comment was, and I've since forgotten it since it's been 10 minutes. Uh, sorry about interrupting my sentence earlier. I was probably commenting... Good luck. About how it's been too long since I last played uh, against fourth file rook that, or right hand fourth file rook that I'm not sure I could execute it. Um,
Why did I do this instead of silver up? I'm not sure. Okay, we're gonna play half D now. Um. Mm. I didn't need to push that edge pawn. I'm just too excited from the time pressure last game. And my opponent right now moving instantly every move is just a bit distracting. Uh, or intimidating, rather. Um... All right, I don't remember this position here. So show me why I can't do this. We're just going to attack. You know, forget the fact that this is a rook and that's a bishop. Attacking's fun. Okay, so they make use of this lance. That makes sense, but... Um... Alright, I don't see any reason to... Well, I could bishop drop here. That makes my gold loose and doesn't really gain me anything. Um, yeah, let's just play this straight away. No reason to delay it. I did not expect that. That seems dubious to me. Nanafu. All right, do you want my knight, perhaps? Okay. Yeah, I thought this would be more pressing. Um... Hmm, what to do? So this strikes the pawn, hits the knight, attempts to defend my king. We'll see whether or not this attempt at defense is successful. Um, okay.
I'll take your rook. Sure, why not? Um, is there something wrong with taking this rook? They're trying to break up my castle. Um, Hmm. Go for me. Searching for checkmate. I don't have checkmate. That would be too that'd be too fortunate. Um Oh, I need to, like, use a pawn to reinforce this stuff. Oh, dear. Well, thankfully I have a horse. Um, if they promote knight takes, they drop again. At some point my horse can take back. Well, no, I was considering pawn takes, knight takes, rook takes. King up, and then they drop, and then force takes, but that's silly. Um,
pawn up. Silver takes, they take my gold, I drop a pawn, they just massacre me. This is not smart. Uh, I don't know how to defend their, whatever it is they're attacking. Oh, okay, wait, no. I'm so confused. I'm extremely confused. This can't possibly be right, but I don't know what to do. Oh my gosh, this is hanging twice. But I have... Thankfully, even if their horse takes, I can bishop drop and take back. But this is super not intentional, uh, this style of defense. Um... Yeah, I gave away a gold general to do this. Um, I need more pieces, so we take here. Next, uh, well, there is no next now. Um, hmm. Oh, I can't block. That sucks. Uh, yeah, if the knight moves, uh, I cannot interpose because they have two pieces attacking the square. Um. Jeez. That ain't good. Eep, eep, boom. That ain't good. Um, the hell? Oh, they mouse slipped. Sorry, I need this chance. Um. Sanjibio. Nicely played. Thanks for the game. Uh, wow. <laughs>
Okay, we got dunked on that game. Um, there's a moral to that story about... I asked, show me why this can't be done. They showed me. Am I going to remember it all? No. But that was exciting. Nicely played. Good luck. Okay. Whew. That was intense. Three winning. Alright, should I be concerned? Um... Is this playable? I forget. Do I have to close the diagonal before I do this? Probably. Uh, okay, let's close the diagonal before I do something I regret. Three winning versus one losing. Yeah. There seems to be a trend there. I'm concerned by this bishop advance. Like, this kind of tells me I don't want to castle that direction. So, let's not castle. Uh, sure. Castling's overrated. Alright, so... Uh, I don't know where we are, but looks exciting enough. Um, we're going to duck and cover in the middle of the board. Wait. Um, okay, let's prevent this advance. Normally, I'd die for the corner. But that ain't happening here. Um, this corner is cursed. I don't need to close the diagonal there. Okay, that's good to know. I'll have to study that a bit further, but... I didn't think I had to. Um, I might have to study something to understand why it's not necessary, but... Um, it's good to know that at least... Uh, it isn't necessary there. We're going to transpose to, like, some center house crab castle, duck castle, duck leg strategy thing. Uh, I think next I push my edge and bring the bishop out this way. Because um, I've not protected my bishop here, so it's got to go somewhere. Um, I wonder if I'm intruding on, like, something similar to Demon Killer territory with this Bishop Knight stuff. They don't have any pawns in hand, so they can't attack right now. Or at least it's hard for them to initiate an attack without a pawn in hand. So I get to dictate the flow of this opening. But also, the center pawn looks like something they might have to figure out how to defend. Oh! Oh, that is sharp, man. That is so sharp. Uh, man, how do I resist free silver? I don't need the silver. Why do I want it? Because it's free? Is anything in life free? Oh, gosh. Man. Knight up. It's this. They bring a gold over to defend it. And then what? Well, then we could use a silver to remove one of these golds. Um, let's see. Pawn up. If they... Yeah, this promoted pawn is still a zillion years of uh, light years away from my king. So... Okay, the reason I want the silver is because it supports this attack, but it's just sitting here on the edge of the board. If I just let them promote and completely ignore it, my attack goes faster. So let's just attack. 
Ah, uh, rook takes bishop is the duck move. Yeah. I've been thinking about it quite a bit. Now that they've, like, given me a place to drop my bishop, that's hopefully happening soon. But the other thing I've been thinking is just bring the rook to the center, but then they move their bishop somehow to defend it. Um... Oh. Oh, this is actually kind of straightforward, isn't it? I could give them the pawn that I've been denying them this whole time. No, no. Take, and then if I get a bishop, and gosh, how could I get a bishop? I wonder. All right. This seems reasonable enough. And if somehow I were to get a bishop, it could go on to 5-5. Five, five. Um, and if I don't get a bishop, that's fine too. Let's do it. I have a good feeling that I'll probably get a bishop soon. <laughs> Alright, so we got this before the rook promoted. Um, yeah, uh, the wings are just decorative, you know? I think it's fine. I mean, if they were threatening to bring the rook in here, that'd be one thing. But um, I think it's fine the way I've played it, given that I'm pretty sure their king is also a sitting duck. Like, I've got knight, bishop, pawn striking this. So pawn takes, knight takes, knight takes, silver takes. I drop a pawn. Like, their king is in very hot water here. Um... I could also take this pawn, but uh, it's not a good idea. It's a waste of time. So, if knight takes, the knight is pinned to this silver. That's the real... That's what I really should be thinking about here. Knights don't go backwards in this game. Maybe I missed something more incisive. Um, this looks pretty nice. All right. Wait. Wait a second. That doesn't actually slow down my attack. Uh. Hey, I don't know how to break the news to him about that. That definitely does not slow down my attack. Um. Oh, man. I think that pawn advance is a mistake. Ah, uh, if you do exchange the knights, then there is a way to get the knight back where it started from. That's true. But then your opponent has a knight, and they could put it anywhere on the board. I'm not sure how to break the bad news to him, but um, this pawn advance in some sense might slow my attack. In another sense, it uh, I gained a move. So... Yeah, that's unfortunate. Thanks for the game. Wow, that was three action-packed games. At least the last two were super action-packed. So much so that I've forgotten. No, the first one, I'd started a sentence and never got back to it. So yeah, three action-packed games in a row. Wow. I hope we all enjoyed that. We'll do a little bit of studying after we cut the video. So yeah, what a session. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. So... Yeah, hope we all enjoyed this. I'll be playing some more teaching ladder games this weekend. Um, 
schedule that. We'll get that knocked out. Um, happy Independence Day to those in the U.S. who celebrate it. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.